Welcome. This technical support video will show you how you can use the export menu up in the top left area of the print from rip application to correct any individual layer that you're printing, whether it be the underbase, the white highlight layer, the color layer, to get the exact printout that you're looking for. We're just going to go ahead and start off using one of our predefined settings. We brought a graphic in and this is what we want the graphic to look like printed on a black colored shirt. However, when we preview it, you're going to notice that there's some spots in this graphic that have not uh, properly had the white under base underneath it. And we need to correct or fix that. When we go and look at the white layer, you'll notice these spots are clearly identified right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our graphic, we're going to go up to the top, we're going to click on export, and we're going to export the white channel. And we're going to label this chrome skull underbase, so we know what it is. And we're going to save it out as a TIFF file. It's now going to save out. Now we're going to want to open up our Photoshop or raster graphic program, and let's manipulate this artwork. Okay, now that we have the graphic open in Photoshop, we're just going to want to go in and fill in certain areas to make our graphic look good. You can use just a pen and just begin to fill in or darken some of these areas on it. You might not want to do all of them. Some of it might look good. So you want to just kind of choose what areas you want to do. One of the things that I like to do is I like to flip between what I see back in the rib and what I'm working with in my graphics program itself. So I'll fill in some of these areas that I know I want to correct. So down here by the teeth. Again, this is just going to be all to your personal liking and what looks the best for getting the graphic done. Once I have that set up, I can flip back to my RIP interface and look through and try and figure out which of these areas do I want. I've kind of picked up and cleaned up this area and that, cleaned up some of the teeth itself. So I'm just taking one more look back into the Photoshop and let's see if there's anything else that I want to go ahead and clean up. I think that looks good. So now all we got to do is just go back and save this file. Once we've saved it, we can go back into the RIP interface, go up to the white layer generator, do the drop down back, click on import from file, and once you click the create button, the window will open up. Now what you're going to want to do is find our chrome skull under base. It'll show up like the picture right there. Go ahead and click open. And you're going to watch these areas in the skull where it will fill in for us. And it filled in. Now it gives us kind of the look and feel that we're going with. You can do this multiple times if you need. And that will allow you complete control over what your underbase is going to look like. You can click on the white underbase to preview it. See what it looks like on the color standpoint and on the preview. That's all it takes for using the import from file and export settings. If you have any questions, please contact your Multirip GP distributor or visit www.multirip.com and click on the FAQs link at the top of the page. Thanks and have a great day.